Well of Ice by Andrea Carter, published by Constable, which is an imprint of Little Brown. Um, this is beautifully set in Inishowen on the Donegal Peninsula. Now, on the back here, uh, the Irish Daily Mail is quoted as saying that the colourful characters may be fictional, but the landscapes, the towns and the villages are instantly recognisable. And I think, um, you know, her sense of place and the way she renders it is really one of a kind and you really feel transported. And it's particularly useful because today is St Patrick's Day 2023 and so it's been nice to visit Ireland um, through fiction which is what trip fiction is all about. This is number three in the Inner Show in Mystery series by Andrea Carter and it can easily be read as a standalone. So our central character is Ben, she's short for Benedicta and her actual name is Sarah which her parents still uh, call her but she has decided to um, get rid of that name for herself because there are too many associations with the murder of her sister Faye which happened many years ago um, but it was a very brutal murder and she knows that the perpetrator is now going to be released from prison. So this is causing her um, quite some consternation. She's also dating Sergeant Malloy, who is the local policeman, but that's kept under wraps. But because um, she lives in Glendara, which is a kind of a small village, um, or small town, um, it soon leaks out that they might just be having a relationship. And it's kind of wonderful that um, the author portrays that kind of small town feel, uh, does it really beautifully, and then sets it against a kind of a beautifully green, rainy backdrop. Um, and, you know, it works very well as a setting. It is coming up to Christmas and Ben has quite a few uh, things to tie up. So she heads down to Dublin to um, sign off a deal that she has down there and she happens to travel with Carol who, you know, is a very monosyllabic young woman um, and as she leaves the depart the arrival halls she notices that Carol has a suitcase. Carol then seems to go missing over the Christmas period and simultaneously the Oak, which is a local pub, burns down where Carol was a barmaid. So this causes an awful lot of uh, upset in the community um, and then a body is discovered. The interesting thing is that um, a ligature was round the neck of the murdered person and it was a belt and the DNA from that belt throws a real curveball into the proceedings. Whilst she is in Dublin, she actually comes face to face with the perpetrator, the murderer of her sister. And of course, this is extremely unsettling. And then when he pops up again, she is just beside herself because she has a sense that he really may well not have changed. And, you know, it is a big worry to her. I mean, I'd feel worried if I bumped into the perpetrator of my sister's murder. Um, and so this is a nicely set story. It moves along at a nice place. It has lovely characters. Um, sense of place, as I've said, is really well rendered. Um, and it's a nice murder mystery with some very likeable characters. I particularly like Ben. She has a little cat called Guinness um, who causes her a few problems. And um, I think it's a well put together story. The, um, the energy ratchets up towards the end of the story. So if you're looking for something that's an easy read, um, particularly for today, St Patrick's Day, then The Well of Ice, Andrea Carter, will transport you to Ireland and to a beautiful part of the country.